My first guest tonight starred on Taxi, Who's the Boss, and currently Family Law. He's also singing and dancing in his show, Tony Danza Live, here at Feinstein's at the Regency Hotel through June 30th. Please welcome Mr. Tony Danza. <laughs> Ben Franklin and a lake. Ben Franklin and a lake fighting. Hey, these you guys are just killing, man. Holy mackerel. That's it. Holy. Holy mackerel. That's uh, that's quite right, a... Now they're going to want more money. Well, they, either that or introduce them, one or the Never other. Never wow. give the band attention. I know. Wow. <laughs> Hi, how are you? In close, Liz, in close. Uh, perfect. Uh -huh. <sighs> Going insane. How are you? I'm terrific. I'm Thanks terrific. For being it's great. Here. To, thank you for having me. It's great to be here. I, uh, I haven't been here in a while. That's right. And I, uh, I was looking forward to getting in. You, uh, you of course, this is where you're from. You're from Brooklyn. I'm a New York guy, Brooklyn guy, Long Island. Uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I gotta wonder when you, you know, when you started to get your success and you went out to Los Angeles. That's a big adjustment. I remember the first. I'm from Boston. When I went to Los Angeles for the first time. I thought I was on the moon. Yeah, well, I did. And I was a young guy, probably the same age as you. What was what was, I was that like? I was 27. I just turned 27, and I got to Hollywood in 1978. Do the math. Okay. Um, you're 78 yeah, years you're old. Yeah, very much. <laughs> and I, uh, I'll never forget. It's interesting. You know, I got there and I, I thought, wow, you know, kid from Brooklyn going to Hollywood, 27. I had a series. I was very excited. I was going to be on Taxi, and uh, and uh, you know, it was blue skies, you know, palm trees, no potholes. It was like I had never seen anything like it, and and I was, uh, I went and I rented a little car and I was driving around trying to explore and it was really, I was so excited. I was in such a great mood. I was going down Santa Monica Boulevard. I saw this guy hitchhiking and um, I thought, gee, you know, I, I used to do a lot of hitchhiking when I was a kid and I was in a great mood. I figured I'd pick him up. He wasn't wearing a shirt, but I figured, you know, hey, it's California, it's warm. Right, you know? right. <laughs> Here's a little tip. You probably don't get in the tourist guidebooks when you go to LA that guys hitchhiking on Santa Monica Boulevard with no shirt on, not, not usually looking for a ride. <laughs> oh, no, I know. So I don't, you didn't know this. I don't know nothing. I pulled the car over, you know. I go, hey, how you doing? The guy says to me, where do you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> I says, wait a minute, I picked you up. Where do you want to go? Yeah. You know, he says, come on, man, where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Do you know how long it took me to figure out where he wanted to go? <laughs> so I had to... I had to ask him to leave. I, yeah. I even slowed down, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> I had to roll. And you know, and you know, this is actually this is an interesting story because this is a real Hollywood story. This yeah. has a Hollywood ending because that guy, that very guy, now has his own TV show, Late Night with Conan O'Brien. <laughs> Mike, I saw you up there with that guy, whatever his name was. What was his name? I saw the warm-up. I was hungry. I, I, I needed saw... food. <laughs> I saw the warm-up. I saw you I hugging warm up the audience. Guy. I go yeah, into the yeah. audience. I give away cash. They're very happy They're afterwards. They're warm. Everybody yeah. Yeah, so. um, now, uh, do you go back to the uh, you go back to the old neighborhood when you're back here? Yeah, of course. I mean, that's uh, you know. I, got a, I still got my mother's house uh, in, uh, in Malvern, mm -hmm. the house that I sort of grew up in. I, I, we moved there when I was 15. We were from East New York in Brooklyn. I was born on Pitkin Avenue. And, uh, right there on the avenue. <laughs> right on Pitkin <laughs> Avenue, yeah. Under the L. There was yeah. an L there, in fact, You're... when I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> Pitkin. No, no, it's a bad joke. Um, and uh, and uh, I'll, tell you one, I'll tell you, one time I did go back. When I first got taxi, I was on, uh, on taxi for about two or three years. I started thinking who I was. You know, people were asking me for autographs. You get a swelled head I couldn't bit. help myself a little bit, you know. And, and, my, and my father was living in an apartment on, on uh, Fulton Street in Brooklyn. He said to me, come down, come down to Brooklyn, see me, you know. And I said, Dad, I can't come to Brooklyn. They, people, you know, they want my autograph. It's tough, you know, it's hard. He says to me, hey, big shot, give me a break, just come to Brooklyn. So I go, I get there at night, the next day my friend Joey Mook comes over. Joey so, who? Joey Mook. That's a great, yeah, okay. <laughs> Joey Mook. Brooklyn. I love these names, yeah. Joey Mook, yeah. Butchie the Hat, anyway, cha-cha. Anyway, um, 
cha-cha. There was no cha-cha. There is a cha-cha. Oh, okay, right I'm gonna, all right, I'm gonna back on, off. It's on Mulberry Street. It's on Mulberry Street right now. Cha-chas and Boca Lupo Cafe on Mulberry and Canal. I'm gonna be walking out tonight, and the guy's gonna tap me. I'm cha-cha. That's man. right. Oh, hi, cha-cha. How are you? <laughs> And anyway, then I'll, I'll ask back. him for a ride. Anyway, yeah. That's right. Ahead. There you go. I rest my case. Yeah, here, right. right. <laughs> so, uh, so you go, you oh, get so up I go back to Brooklyn. I go back to Brooklyn. I get there. My friend comes over. He says, you know what we should do, Tony? We should paint your father's house, uh, your father's apartment. Mm -hmm. I said, great idea. We're going to get the paint. He said, well, walk down Fulton Street. And under the L is the, uh, is the Pittsburgh paint store. I say, Joey, come on. I can't walk down the street. You know, they'll make, they'll bother. They'll give it, they'll, they'll want my autograph pictures. I don't want to do it. He says, would you give me a break? Let's go get the paint. So we go. We're walking down the street. It's Bedlam. It's a summer day in Brooklyn. There's kids riding bikes, you know, women breastfeed. I mean, it's just like, <laughs> you know, what's going on in Brooklyn? You know, people playing scalzy, and, right, and it's right. all right. And no one, not one person, acknowledges me at all. Uh-huh. Wait a minute, no, it's, it's, it gets to the point where it's starting to drive me crazy. And you know how you don't, you try not to make eye contact? I'm doing this. You know, <laughs> it's me, you know. You're pointing like, to yourself, I'm yeah. I'm doing that. Right. right. Nothing, nothing. We get into the Pittsburgh paint store, and we're standing at the counter. Next to me is like two 12-year-olds, 12 or 13. You know, they were buying glue or something, but that's another story. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> These kids are like my fans. This is my, you know, right, this they is my watch TV. This they is should... my demographic. Right there, there they are, right? I'm looking at the kid. Nothing. Nothing. It's driving me fine. I'm looking at him. I'm giving him the nothing. Finally, I can't take it anymore. I say to the kid, hey, don't you know who I am? Kid says, yeah, I know who you are, but your father told us not to bother you. <laughs> <laughs> the word's out. That's great. The whole word's out. That's great. Yeah, you put the word out in the neighborhood, you know. Now, it's you, uh, I gotta ask you about this. You do a, a cabaret yeah, act. Yeah, you should come see it. I will come see you it. Should come you should come see it. You can have me up on stage. I'll do my uh, you'll dance. move yeah. that clear I out the audience. I play a trumpet. Not like you, but I do play a little bit, yeah. Um, it's great. I'm at Feinstein's, by the way. Oh, I'm sorry. I got it wrong. I know. Feinstein's. Feinstein's at the Regency. Cool place to play, but, you know. Feinstein's, okay. I mean, I, you know, I told Feinstein, my... Feinstein, Feinstein. Feinstein, okay. Feinstein. Okay. At the Regency. I told my Aunt Frances I'm playing Feinstein. I'm at Feinstein's at the Regency. She said, oh, good. I love that jewelry store. <laughs> <laughs> my mom. Yeah. Now, you but, do... Uh, I'm there. I'm there every night, uh, Tuesday through Saturday. Two shows tonight, two shows tomorrow. Um, and you love doing you love doing the classics. You do a lot of Sinatra. You do like some to do, Sinatra. do some Sinatra in your act. You knew Sinatra, did you I not? I knew Sinatra, yes. You knew I, Frank. I actually... Let me just bow my head. Okay. Um... <laughs> I'm that way when I talk about Carrot Top. <laughs> He's a great prop comedian. I said, no, yeah, actually, it, it makes perfect sense. Yeah. Anyway, um... <laughs> uh, it all adds up now. Anyway, so, uh, uh, so... I know him, you know what, I know, I, and he liked me, and I know what, he, that he liked me because he yelled at me a lot. Oh, really? Yeah, that's how oh, you knew? That's how you knew with uh, Mr. Sinatra, if he yelled at you. I got yelled at on national TV by him. Seriously? Remember they did that 80th birthday special for mm -hmm. him? That's right. Well, I actually sang on that show to Sinatra. And I got to tell you, singing to Sinatra is not something. Rickle says to me, did he give you the dead eye? You know, it's like, you know, the, the Frank Sinatra standing. Oh, I love Rickles' opening joke is great. Rickles, it's the 80th birthday special for Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra sitting on the stage. Rickles comes out and he says, um, who are we honoring? Oh, that was first. Then he goes, uh, he goes, Frank, I'll make you feel right at home. Da 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 da. <laughs> and that went over okay with Frank. <laughs> he gave him the dead eye. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. when he got the dead eye. Yeah. So, so, uh, well, so he what yelled at you was, on national yeah, TV. Yeah, so what happened was at the end of the show, everybody was up and they were singing New York, New York, and he sang the last couple of notes and it was fabulous and he wasn't feeling all that well and when he when he finished everybody was around him but he was by himself he he looked like he was looking to see if the water was cold or something you know right he was trying and to take he, a step or and something. i thought for a second i thought frank sinatra my fall i'm not gonna let that happen you know so i i superhero right next to him and i gently put my hand on his elbow you know as just to and he goes back off <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, yes, sir. <laughs> He's like Mo on the Three you know, Stooges. Did, Spread out! You know, he did... He did my show. He did Who's the Boss? That's amazing. He actually That's did right. the show. It was... Uh, and I, I got to fly my mother out, and he, and he was so great to my mother. And I mean, he, he just was... Uh, you know, he was just... He, 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 I do want to bow my head one more time. That's all. I'm sorry. <laughs>
The greatest. I'm doing my own Carrot guy top. now. Yes, there we go. <laughs> well, uh, everyone should you be, they can come see you. Tony Danzo live. Yeah, at come see the show. Man. Feinstein. Feinstein. Ah! And it's named after. By the way, so you know, it's named do? after. It's named after the great. It's named after the great Michael Feinstein, the piano playing singer. You know. Oh, okay. That's why. I'm an ignorant fool. Uh, <laughs> but go see him there at the Regency Hotel. Till the 30th. Through June 30th. Right. That's right. You know Thanks. what? This was great. Thanks hey, for man, coming it's good by. To see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Terrific job, Tony Dan. Everybody, Richard Schiff coming up. We'll be right back.